lot of passengers are fed up with Spirit Airlines. For the sixth straight day, it's canceled hundreds of flights, leaving customers stranded or forced to pay more. Hello, today I present to you an extremely attractive application for music lovers. It's completely free. You can listen to music online or download unlimited music to use whenever you don't have internet. The powerful search function helps you find anything you want. Trust me. It's hard not to find what you're looking for because the search function is really powerful. Application download link is attached in the description of the video. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thanks. Or on other airlines. So what does Spirit CEO have to say? Here's CBS's Errol Barnett. This has not been our finest hour. Spirit Airlines CEO Ted Christie told us his company's week-long meltdown stemmed from pandemic staffing, weather, and technical issues. We've been in this line for six hours. People been here nine hours. Some of the thousands stranded for days nationwide slept in baggage areas, others paying out of pocket for hotels or flights on other airlines. That's time and money we don't have. Alex Helderman stranded in Orlando today after finding out his flight home to Indianapolis was canceled. He and his mother stuck in this crowded line after enjoying a trip to Disney World. This line has not moved for about 45 minutes. No social distancing going on. Later on down the line, this may be the one key thing that I remember from this trip. What do you say to those passengers? It starts with an apology. We were clearly overwhelmed. We're going to do everything in our power to earn back their confidence and trust. For Helderman, it's too late. I will never be flying Spirit again. Since Sunday, Spirit has scrapped at least 2,000 flights, with Christy expecting more cancellations through the weekend. It's been a catastrophe. Also new tonight, United Airlines announced all of its staff must be vaccinated by October 25th at the latest. And Frontier Airlines announced a similar policy for its employees as of October 1st. Bill, the other major airlines do not have similar mandates, but of course, that could change. Errol Barnett at uh, Baltimore's airport. Thank you, Errol.